Well, hello everyone. We're here today with Preston Bat Maestro, Graham West. In the background, there he is. Hello. And as you can see, we've had set up base camp, cooked his bacon sandwiches, sausage sandwiches, and he's catching a load of fish. So, hang on before you chuck out. What we're we doing, Westy? Uh, Very simple, isn't it? Smite crows for a little tiny cage feeder. Yeah, little cage. And Pro Expander. Six mil on the hook. There we go. Simple Good. as that. Yep. So no not chicken a hybrid or a no. pellet feeder or a method feeder or anything like that. No, nice and simple. Anybody can do that. Little tiny cage Let's feeder. See where you chuck in. It's a nice little gentle lob. We're at Medlands are on the Warren Pool, peg 18. Nicely done. And, as Westy said, he's fishing expanders. Pinging an odd one out over the top, aren't you? Yes, I am. Micros in the feeder. Real safe as houses method this, I was thinking, in the winter. Yeah, we've been catching a few. Hopefully we won't have the camera curse. Um, just... 3 6 mils over the top. Yeah. Simple. You're fishing, not fishing far, you're about 18 metres probably. Yeah, if that, yeah, yeah. It's nice and easy, easy fishing. It's freezing cold. Highs of about 3 or 4 degrees yeah, today. It's freezing. Hence why we've got Base Camp West behind us. <laughs> but um, in all seriousness, obviously. All expanders, they're ever so good on the pole, but for some reason people don't bother using them on the feeder. And yeah, they're a fantastic bait, aren't they? Especially for cars and Superb. Superb. And if they're getting us bites today. Well, as the water goes clear, you know, it's... Um, although, yes, you've just touched, though, Joe, it's extremely good on the pole. You know, this time of year we do go to micros and expanders on the pole at, at 16 metres. But as the water goes clear, um, now sometimes having that pole over the head will spook them, so there's always an option. You can always just chuck a little feeder over the top of your pole line. It does work really well on a lot of venues this time of year, when it, especially when it goes clear. Just for the fish a little bit more confidence to maybe feed. Just picking it up on It's noticeable as well, you get a lot of lioness today. Well that has calmed down a bit, hasn't it? Yes. It's not a little carp, odd skimmer. And considering the conditions, we've caught a few of them, would you? Fantastic, haven't we? So, obviously, oh, 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 six pound uh, sinking mono and just show the folks obviously here we go this is one of my products of the year it's just so products. easy isn't it it's, it's just so easy they are the ones that you buy in the shop they're not west not tied them and he's happy to use them but don't tell everybody that i haven't tied them because everyone thinks i'm a prep king <laughs> yeah but look why would you tie no them? they're absolutely perfect straight out of the bag aren't they so you know what why would you spend the time tying them they're perfectly tied as well obviously these are what you buy aren't they they yep. buy them in the shop yep i think they're 395 375 i think retail for eight hooks already tied these are the ones on 15 inches um all to kkms at the moment i think there's some gpms on the way i've yep. got them in the van yeah <laughs> um and there's obviously 15 inch ones and they do the little method ones yeah the little method ones which are exactly the same, KKMs. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's yeah, superb, superb product. It makes life so much easier. So, so obviously you've got 019 on today, yeah. which you know people probably think is heavy, but these cap and half ripping the rod round, aren't they? they <laughs> yes, if we get a bite, Joe, because we've got the cur camera yes, curse. The camera, yeah. But we've just had two fish in quick succession, so um, hopefully it shouldn't take too long. But I think, as as we as we mentioned earlier, is Every time you feed, get a little sign. Didn't yeah, you? so I think the fish are there. Tune into noise, aren't they? Yeah, seems to be. Just 
just keep dripping like two or three expanders in six mil six mils better today i started on four and then changed to a six and the bites were a lot more aggressive so probably just helps them pick it out a bit i suppose yeah i'd say so joe yeah yeah definitely so he's literally just gone not even a pint of fishery micros there i'd say that you've been plugging the feeder with yeah uh, anything else in terms of look baits? I've noticed these little, oh, the little, little specials. Ones, yeah. Little specials. What have we got here then, Westy? Uh, they are some prototype um, bandoms, um, wafters that are soon to be released in the near future. Look at them. Some lovely pastel colours from Sonya Baits. And what expanders is it you're using? I'm using the uh, Pro expanders, well, the ones that sink themselves, don't need to pump them. I've uh, done a video on them, you have so done. how to pre prepare them, so I'll put a link to that yep. just above. And all I did last night was I emptied some into two plastic bags, uh, you know, tie wrap bags, covered them in water, tied a knot in them and left them overnight and I come up in the morning and all I've done is just put them in straight, boat, straight into the bait boxes and they look like that. Absolutely yeah. perfect. And you just quick stop in one yep. of them on the hair. Nice and firm, they don't break. Lovely. Perfect for the hook. Well, if you haven't seen them, let's just have a little look at the bags. In amongst the tea cakes and the bacon. And there they are. 4 mil and 6 mil Pro Expanders. Very good product. Very nice too. As you can see, we've got... Every match angler needs, needs this little setup going on. <laughs> <laughs> bacon, sausages, tea. Again, and, 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 and I'm getting lining straight away, so there's there's definitely fish there. As I say, the cold water, the water is absolutely freezing. Oh well, I went out yesterday with none other than Steve Ringler, and it was one of the coldest days I've had in a long, long time with the wind chill, and the fishing was really hard. So I feared, feared the worst of it today, but it's actually been really good. Plenty of bites, isn't there? Yeah, we've had we've had uh, oh, another indication then. It's definitely fish I mean it's, it's a cracking lake anyway Medellin's is a fantastic winter fishery you know e even we've been in fishing matches down here when it's there's ice in the margins you know there will still be bream to be caught there'll be skimmers to be caught um, obviously they're, they're silverfish matches through the winter but they're lots of carp get hooked uh, and, and, and obviously caught but obviously they don't count but the venue is, is at possibly one of the best winter venues in the country in, in my opinion um, Lambs down the bigger lake over the back in deep water. Um, skimmers, 20, 30 pounds in the middle of winter. It's a fantastic, phenomenal venue through the winter. It is, really is. I see the sun's coming out there. Oh, shines on the righteous, Joe. Absolutely. Come on, let's have a fish for the camera. A couple of quick things that I've noticed. Obviously, I know this is nothing new, but two rests. Crucial in the winter, isn't it? Oh, Set your trap, don't yeah. move it. Definitely. It's a waiting game, you know. Steve Ringer was saying yesterday, you know, or, or, or videos that you've done in the past. You now this this time of year, you just set your trap, go in gently, and just just wait. The chances are, I mean, the last two fish we've had were quite quick, but we still had to wait five minutes for each bite. So it's it's a waiting game, you know. Get comfy. Yeah. Make sure you're warm. Make sure you have a little camp where you can have a cup of tea. Absolutely. <laughs> As your dog. In all, in all seriousness, we have spoken about this before with Steve, like you say, in that video that we did the other week. Having a flask, having a bits and bobs like that, just keep you focused in the winter, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. There's nothing worse than sitting there, you know, twiddling your fingers for when you, sometimes you're waiting 15 minutes. I mean, I don't fish bonding to myself, but I understand sometimes you're up to 45 minutes for one, one bite, you know, 45 minutes just staring at a tip. You know, you need to. Although you're concentrating, now a cup of tea, keeping yourself warm, really important in the winter. Definitely. Really important keep in the winter, you know, to keep yourself warm. So, so simple approach. You can't get my, oh, another indication. One of those though, Westy. Someone mentioned you, oh, I didn't catch one for the cameras, but you should never work with animals. And <laughs> fish are the worst for it when you're filming. <laughs> I thought you meant I was the animal, Joe. Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but we, as I said, we had, we've had a good day. We've, we've had quite a few small carp. We had 10 carp. Probably 10 carp, yeah. Some skimmers. 
Even had a little F1 type thing. Yeah, a Joe Carasio. Joe Carasio, you know it. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been good. Considering the conditions, it's been good. Tell you what, just while we've got this on, you want to just reel in, show people how you're putting these expanders on? Oh, oh. Is oh. it going to go, is it? Oh, I thought it was going to go then. Oh, right, okay, I'll bring it in. Right, okay. <laughs> if you're not going to catch some of it, the punters might as well learn some it. Well, it's, um, what I will say, it's really important about this close in fishing, is make sure your rod's really soft. Because, because it's so, you're fishing close hello. in. Look, hello, unbelievable. Um, because you're fishing so close in, it's really important that your rod's are really soft, because the bites can be really aggressive. So you've got a quick stop needle there. Yeah, simple as that. Um, I'm taking a six mil. Now I like to go in from this side, personally. And, yep. it's, and it's easy like that. Some people like to go in through the flat side, or like to go in through the round side. A little bit more robust like that, I always think. Oh, yeah, I always think so too. And that's it. It's a simple. How easy is that? Yeah. Does it get any easier than that? Winter, it, right? You know. Yeah, you know, so you, you've got a little cage feeder there that you're going to plug with micros. Yeah. So fish, fish with micros here at Medellin's. Um, it's not an expensive day. It's a cheap day, isn't it? You know. Obviously, you have your day ticket, but it's a nice cheap day. I mean, that's that's probably a quarter of a bag of expanders, and we've we've I'll fed most of them home. Um, yeah, we've we've fed like what we've fed a few Joe, haven't we? Mm. Um, one bag of fishery expanders. Uh, sorry, fishery micro pellets, which I think is about three pound for a bag. But I've probably used a quarter of a bag of that. So you have you could have a good day's fishing for yeah. a few quid. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, we'll we can get out it. there then, and then we'll come back when we get one. Have you nailed one, Westy? Well, yeah, I'm in. There I was, eating my sausage sandwich. And you nailed it. Beautifully cooked by me, I hasten to add. Yeah. So, is this on the expander again? This is, I just put a double four mil expander. <laughs> double four mil expander. Yeah. Look at that. Sun's going down. Another great day. Going well, isn't it? It is. Probably not one of these little carts, though. They really hang on for these little fishing here. Wes's ad, I don't know, 40 pounds probably today? Probably. Which, given the conditions, like my fingers are numb. There we go. There we go. It's a good result, I'd say. Let's have a look. Oh, beautiful. Look, these fish are so beautiful. Look like they've already been caught. Gorgeous, aren't they? I'll hold them up for you. There you go. Shooting a feature yet again for the January issue of Match Fishing. Look at that. And, hang on, let's get this thing. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Carpers would call that Pucker, wouldn't they? Pucker! Nice that, mate. Beautiful. Thanks, Westy. No problem. Give me a little kiss. There we go. Beautiful. Right, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. See you one. soon.